It's the new year and time to start putting a few spring activities into the diary. Here's my pick of the crop, five fantastic exhibitions from across the UK. The Renaissance artist Botticelli may have been forgotten for 300 years, but since the 19th century he's had an immense impact, inspiring a host of artists and designers. Now the V&A launches a blockbuster exhibition to celebrate his influence on art, design, fashion and film, with more than 50 original works by Botticelli himself, alongside pieces by artists including Rossetti and William Morris, Magritte and Warhol, David LaChapelle and Dolce and Gabbana. 2016 marks the 400th anniversary of the death of England's greatest playwright, William Shakespeare. Compton Burney in Warwickshire partners with the Royal Shakespeare Company in a perfect show for all art and theatre lovers, exploring how artists have been inspired by Shakespeare's vivid characters and dramatic narratives. If you love the pop art of Klaus Oldenburg and Jeff Koons, you'll want to go to Yorkshire Sculpture Park, where monstrous rabbits, vibrant paintings and cartoon characters fill the gallery and parkland beyond. This is the work of American graffiti artist, sculptor, toy maker and fashion designer Brian Donnelly, known as Cause, and it's his very first exhibition in the UK. Performing for the camera looks at the fascinating relationship between performance and the photographic image, from the beginnings of photography to today's global selfie culture. Bringing together more than 500 images, the exhibition ranges from historic studio photographs to 1960s performance art, charting a century and a half of posing and portraiture, self-promotion and identity politics. Finally, if you want to discover where modern art all began, head to the National Gallery, where the most famous and controversial French painter of the early 19th century takes up residence. In this new show, the National Gallery boldly proposes a direct lineage from the great Romantic master through to the abstract painters of the early 20th century. For more on these shows, as well as dozens of others across the UK, just go to the Art Fund's website at artfund.org.